All right, welcome back to your 12th tutorial on how to create Excel documents. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create different kinds of shapes. So at the, at the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to draw lines, rectangulars, ovals, and whatever whatever the heck you want to draw. So for that, I'll create a new class. And let's see. Um, <laughs> I'll just call it Excel Shapes. So we know that we drew awesome shapes in here. And to start off, I'll, of course, import the most important classes we're going to need for this tutorial. And I'll say import org Apache POI. HSSF user model dot HSSF workbook. The second thing is going to be the org Apache POI SS user model uh, workbook. The third import is going to be the org Apache POI SS user model sheet. And for the shapes itself, we need to import another three classes. So the first one is going to be the org Apache POI HSSF users, user model, and it's called the HSSF Patriarch. The second thing we're going to need is the org Apache POI HSSF user model, and it's called the HSSF client answer and last but not least we need the org apache poi hssf user model hssf simple shape so we're going to need those three classes to create our shapes and of course last but not least let me import the java io file output stream all right, so now we have everything imported. Let's start creating some awesome shapes. For that, I'm going to create the main method first. So I'll say public static void main string args. Oops, messed that one up. All right, and in there, I'm going to create the workbook. I'll call it workbook, and that equals to new HSSF workbook. And in the workbook, we're going to need one sheet of paper. So I'll say sheet, sheet equals to workbook dot create sheet. And I'll give it a name like awesome shapes. All right. Uh, last but not least, we need to put in a try catch block. So I'll say try catch exception E e.print stack trace if something went wrong and as a try block I'll say uh, file output stream output equals to new file output stream and I'll give it a name like uh, shapes.xls so we know that we created some lines rectangulars and circles in our shapes.xl document and now we have to write the workbook in the output. So I'll say workbook.write output. And last but not least, output.close. All right, so that's it for the beginning. We have our workbook and now we only have to create some shapes. And to start off with creating shapes, we'll have to create a HSSF patriarch. I'll call it patriarch. And that equals to sheet dot create drawing patriarch. So what that means is mm, let me think. So what the HSSF patriarch is this one is actually something like a, a sheet of paper. You could say so you can draw, you know, awesome shapes in the Patriarch or on the sheet of paper. And it's red underlined because 
All right, so we need to cast it to an HSSF patriarch. All right, so now the second thing we're gonna need to do is create an anchor. So I'll say HSSF client anchor. I'll just call it anchor equals to new HSSF client anchor. And so what the anchor basically is, uh, with the anchor we can decide from which point to which point we want to form a shape of. So you can say from row number one and column number A to row number three and column number C we want to draw a line. So uh, actually, let's let's just do that. So we can do that by saying enter dot set column one. So set call one, which is the column number. So I'll set it to one, which is the column number B. And then we have to say enter dot set row one, which is the row number. So I'll start off with the row number two. And then I'll set the column number two uh, to three, and answer dot set column number uh, set row number two. I'll set that one to five. And then with that we have our coordinates, and we can create our uh, shape. So let's say HSSF uh, simple shape and I'll just call it uh, shape equals to um, patriarch dot create simple shape and as a parameter it asks for a client answer and of course <coughs> sorry and of course we created the answer up here. So let's see what we can do. So I'll say shape dot set shape type and with the shape type we can decide if it's going to be a line or a rectangular so we can do that by saying uh, HSSF simple shape dot uh, object type and then you can see that we have the uh, the option to choose between a line, comment, a, an oval, or a rectangular. And I'll just start off with the line. Oops. And I think we actually can just run that. So let's run that. And we don't get any error messages. If I refresh the project nothing happens if I do it again ah okay so you now you can see that there's a shapes.excel document and if I open that up you can see that there's a line so it starts off from the left top corner from B2 so we set that with the set column to 1 and set row to 1 so that's B2 and it goes until column number D and row number 6. So it always starts off at the left top corner and stops at the left top corner. And of course we don't have to create a line, we also can create an oval. So we can say, uh, set the simple shape to object type oval. And if I run that we don't get any error messages if I open up shapes.excel you can see that there's now a beautiful white oval and we even can recolor that oval so we can say um, shape oops oh, stop it stop it all right so we can say shape dot set fill color and you either can type in one parameter or three parameters 
So if you type in one parameter, it's just going to change the red color. So if we just type in 100, that's going to be a pretty dark red. So we can run that, open up shapes.excel. And as you can see, that's a pretty dark wine red. And we can also put in three parameters. So if I say 100, 100, 100, it, that one is going to be the RGB color. So if you've never heard of the RGB, that's the uh, red, uh, green, and the blue color. So you can tell as as higher the number is, uh, the brighter the color is. So for instance, if we want a complete green color, we can say 0 red, uh, 255 green, and 0 blue. Uh, by the way, 255 is the highest number you can put in there. So if we run that, uh, we should get a pretty green color and voila so that's beautiful green and of course we can create something different by putting some blue in there and then we get some let's see what color do we get I don't know that what that color is called but alright so yeah, that's how you change the uh, the fill color, and you also can change the border. So you can say uh, shape dot set uh, line. So let's set line style, and then you can say hssf simple shape dot line style, and then you can see that there are some examples we can choose from, so we can either use the dash dot or dash system or dot gil or dot sys. So I'll just go ahead and use the dash gil. And the last thing I want to show you is changing the line color. So you can say, say uh, set line style color, and of course you either have the option to put one, uh, one parameter in, in there or three so and the same is up, up here if you only put one parameter in there it's going to be a red color otherwise red green blue let's um, put something like a pretty red color let's make a, a 200 red uh, some green and a little bit of blue and if we run that and open up shapes.xl we get uh, a color that we can't really see here but you know that yeah you, you can trust me it does change the line color so actually let me show you one more thing so you can also set the line width so you can change the line width by saying hssf simple shape dot uh, line width and then you can either choose from default or 1pt and if we choose 1pt we can uh, for instance set it times 3 and then it's going to be a much thicker line and if I run that open up shapes.excel you can see that it is, it is a much thicker Ooh, what the heck happened alright so that you can see that it made a much thicker border so that's basically how you create different shapes and lines in Excel and that's how I'm going to conclude this video thank you for watching and hope to see you soon again bye